Hi viewers, welcome to all. Here we are discussing about your project Reconfigurable Digital Delta Sigma Modulation Transmitter Architecture for Concurrent Multiband Transmission. The flexibility of reconfigurable transmitter designs with their carrier spacing and the quality of continuous carrier aggregation systems is suggested in the long term evaluations advance. Okay? standard uh, for such high data rate transmissions in which this work presents a huge bandwidth of carrier signals is split into multiple sub carrier with a lower bandwidth this multi band transmissions will more helpful in a 5g applications okay so this work describes a eighth order reconfigurable multi band delta sigma modulations which allows the noise transfer functions zero to be adjusted to fall at different frequencies when the carrier are aggregated. In this case of multiband transmissions, contrastation noise between a transmission band in a major concern. As a result, a multiband additional noise shaping function, that means the ANS functions, is also implemented, which propose notches around uh, each carrier and decreases noise level across a number of passbands. Okay. The systematic architecture of the presence fourth order reconfigurable multiband delta sigma modulator will have increases logic sizes and energy consumptions and the arithmetic operations of the logic will need a large amount of logic in VLSI implementation. As a result of this proposed work would minimize the amount of logic in arithmetic operations by utilizing an energy quality scalable truncated technique which presents in 8th order reconfigurable multiband data sigma modulators this truncated technique will be reduced the internal and external storage in rmb and dsm architectures it will provide only n size output from the entros and multiplications okay this implementations of existing and proposed designs will implemented in xilinx zinc fpga and proved the performance of uh, uh, the logic sizes and area and delay and power okay here we can verify the base paper here uh, what they are doing means they are doing as a digital delta sigma modulation for fourth order reconfigurable multiband dsm conversion okay it's helpful for 5g applications and the lte method okay so here we have proposed this architecture this is a figure one architecture is the main architecture of this paper so we have proposed this architecture up to the eighth order reconfigurable rmb dsm conversion okay so here uh, the first block is the baseband carrier aggregations okay so initially we have received the message signal from the base stations base station one two three four okay and we need to transfer the signal to one place to another place okay using that method we are using a baseband signal generator and interpolator okay and if shifter if shifter using for the carrier multiplication Okay. So, carrier signal and message signal we need to multiply it after that we need to add all the signals and we need to split the signal using IQ splitter and uh, we have transferred the data to real and imaginary that is I and Q to DSM conversion block. Okay. So, this DSM conversion block will receive the data and it will transfer the data to DAC interface. Okay. So, here the DSM conversion block uh, architecture they are given on here. Okay. So, reconfigurable fourth order rmb dsm architecture okay so initially we are given as a xn input this b1 uh, a1 is a buffer okay and this is the addition part and this is all the multiplication part okay so it's same like as a fire filter architecture okay so once completed this architecture uh, in fourth order we need to reconstruct this architecture in the eighth order method okay so here this code was developed in verilog HTML. okay so this is a dsm conversion block existing method so here this is a nco block for eight level of frequencies okay so this level of frequencies we are considered as a base station okay so it will generate the frequency from 10 mahz 20 mahz 30 mahz 40 mahz up to 80 mahz okay it will given the frequency into rmb dsm conversion block eighth order Okay. so here we have received the frequency eif1 to eif8 okay so this frequencies we are given into the baseband carrier aggregation method okay so this baseband agri carrier aggregation method it will receive and it will be given into the interpolator and uh, it will given into the if shifter finally will be taken the output from the if summations okay and this if summations output uh, will come across iq splitter okay so here we have split the 
value modulated height data and modulated Q data. That data only we are given into the IF summations and DSM conversation block. Okay, so this DSM conversation block will have a number of multiplications, buffers, and addition. Okay, already we are verified that in the architecture. Okay, so here uh, we are design this simulations also same in the truncated multiplication scope. Okay, so here uh, we can show the simulation part. Okay, so this is a IF signal for different bandwidth. Okay, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Okay, so after this conversion, so IF signal. Okay, so here you can check the IF signal 1, 2, 3. So with career multiplication and finally taken as a modulated signal and modulated i and modulated q. Okay. And uh, this is a DSM conversion block output, i data, q data, and this is a DAC input. Okay, DAC input of i and q data. Okay. For output verification, we are used this paper design of second order delta sigma modulator. Here they are given as a samples how we are given an input and how the output will be present okay simulation result of delta sigma modulator after each stage okay so okay you can check the DAC i output and DAC q output okay so this output only we are given into the DAC okay and simulation result you can show down here okay so this is a simulation result for truncated multiplier okay so here why we are using truncated multiplier means here the carrier signal multiplications and dsm conversation block multiplication uh, we need to reduce the number of uh, logic sizes and power delay okay for that purpose we are using the truncation multiplier truncated multiplier will reduce uh, the internal architecture size and external architecture size also because uh, it will given the output is a 8 bit only but other multipliers it will generate the output uh, it's 16 bit okay example n into n means it's a 2n output for the multiplication n into n means n is the output for truncated multiplier okay so there is a concept here okay here and this code we are synthesized in uh, zinc uh, 7000 FPGA okay so this is a fourth order okay so you can check the comparisons for post synthesis and post simulation uh, table versus graph okay and you can check the power results and uh, schematic okay so this is a schematic for uh, work okay so baseband career aggregation if summation iq splitter and dsm conversion block okay so instead of this dsm conversion rmb dsm okay and ans block okay so this rmb dsm means it will have some architecture right uh, array multiplier we are used okay so as per the architecture we have developed it okay and this is a very one career application it's having an interpolator okay if shifter and if summation okay and the same method uh, we are done in the eighth order. So this is the eighth order uh, synthesis report. Same work in zinc uh, 7000 FEGA. Okay. So here you can check the comparisons, post synthesis table, and post implementation. And uh, here also we can show the schematic. And this comparisons uh, we are updated in the comparison table. Uh, so this is a comparison for fourth order conventional method and eighth order conventional method. Okay. So 4, 8, 1, 0 hertz and bandwidth uh, we are used 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay. Same as uh, here uh, and the 8, 10 to 80. Okay. So an aggregated bandwidth is 100 mahertz on here and 360 mahertz on here. DSM order and PA used okay and dynamic power static power okay the propose comparison using truncated multiplier uh, it will be shown on here 
okay this is a comparison with the fourth order conventional method and truncated and eighth order conventional method and truncated okay so here you can check all the comparisons and uh, yeah this is a eight architecture eighth order uh, schematic okay so here you can verify the input is eight and uh, carrier frequency is eight okay and uh, the same carrier frequency we are given on IF summation also. Why? Because the DSM conversion block required a error signal. Okay. Uh, for error signal uh, in the paper they are not given how much frequencies they are they are uh, created. They are not given at it. Okay. That's why I am created the frequency uh, directly from the uh, carrier signal. Okay. Actually here uh, after interpolated. Uh, frequency only they are added on here right okay in the if summation okay uh, but the error signal we need to give it's a same as a local oscillator okay because uh, the baseband carrier aggregation is a modulation part and dsm is a filtering part okay so in the filtering part we need to sample with the same carrier frequencies only okay so if i choose any other error frequency means the output will be created more noise and more error okay that's why i'm not created uh, noisy signal okay so we are created the same carrier frequency that's why we are added all the carrier frequency and it will be given on the error signal okay uh, so that that uh, error will be added on here okay so here rmb dsm conversion right so this block that error only we are added on here okay this so error The final addition okay and uh, yeah that's it we have written an abstract document of this project okay title best paper abstract improvement of the project proposed title proposed abstract existing system related notes disadvantages proposed system advantages and related notes literature survey Finally, references. Okay. If you need more video related with VLSI projects implementation, please like and subscribe this channel.